Good evening all and thank you for attending. My name is uh, Nizar Nabati. I'm the project manager with the Flood Control District of Maricopa County Planning and Project Management Division. I'm very excited to present this project to you all. Lori will present our meeting agenda and project team. Lori, next please. Thanks, Nizar. Uh, I want to go a couple, through a couple of housekeeping items with you first, um, kind of the rules of the road. We'd ask that if you have questions, uh, a good thing to do would be to type it in the chat box, which there's a little bubble on your, on your screen, on your uh, bar of choices, and you can just type your question in and I'll, be, I'll have my eyes on that during the presentation. You can also raise your hand um, as well, it's right next to the chat box. Um, and with that, we're just going to uh, give you a little bit of information on the agenda, introducing who we are, how this project came to be, and um, then we're going to go into some details on what the project elements are, how they will benefit the neighborhood, and um, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then we wanna tell you about the uh, time frame for completion and then um, we also want to give you some information on what this project might look like in your neighborhood. Uh, most of the project will be underground ultimately, so you obviously won't see it, but there are a couple of elements that you will see and we want to show you what that might look like. So uh, then at the end, we'll ask for more questions and give you information on how you can keep track of the meeting. So with that, I will turn it I will uh, introduce the project team. So as uh, Nabar, Nazar started, he is the project manager for the Flood Control District of Maricopa County. The Flood Control District and the City of Phoenix are actually co-funding this project 50-50. It's just that um, the Flood Control District is managing the contract. But other than that, it's a 50-50 split. We have um, with the City of Phoenix, uh, Eric Proberg is with us here today, city engineer, and um, we also have the project designer that is uh, Bob Hainline. You'll hear from him. He's with Dibble, and my name is Lori Miller with LTM Engineering, and I'm just here mostly to moderate. So with that, I will turn it over to Bob and, or I'm sorry, to Nazar, who will give you that project background. Thank you, Lori. As a project manager, I will uh, cover all efforts done by the city of Phoenix uh, and flood control district of Maricopa County in this area as of today. Then I will emphasize on the our project, the 19th Avenue in Davos, the project background and purpose, a uh, goal and, and purposes. So a little bit about the project back, background. Uh, the Lavinia experienced a large storm in 2014-2014. This event, this event inundated many homes and structures. Therefore, the Flood Control District act immediately to conduct what we call it Levine Area Drainage Master Study to evaluate the flooding issues and recommend solutions to those issues. Uh, issues. The study was uh, completed in December 20, 2017 and recommended five mitigation measures in Levine watershed. We call it projects. And this project is one of those recommended measurements. Next slide, please. The project <coughs> goals. Uh, the main goal of the project is to reduce the flooding risk to local residents, communities, businesses, and public structures. It will protect people's lives and their property. The district and the city goals today is to communicate to the, to communicate the benefit of the project to the community and obtain community back feedback while we are in the design stage. This is why you are all invited to this meeting. I will talk about some effort 
was done by the district and the city as of today. As I mentioned, mentioned earlier, the, the, the study, the Levine study was completed in December 2017. The district joined the city of Phoenix in the same area in the same year to construct what we call the regional basin. It's a large basin located at 27th Avenue and South Mountain Avenue. This basin is designed to con collect stormwater from two projects. I just mentioned the 27th Avenue project and 19th Avenue project, which is this project. The district then construct three location basins. I will touch bases on those location in the next slide along the 23rd Avenue, north of Only Avenue. In conjunction with the city of Phoenix, we are constructing a storm drain along 27th Avenue and Only to outfall those both projects to that South Mountain uh, Regional Basin. The city of Phoenix also conduct other improvement in the area uh, after the 2014 storm. One of the example of those improvement is at the channel along the Humane Society building. Next slide, please. Uh, as you see on those, uh, those two projects that I mentioned earlier, the 27th Avenue, uh, is under construction right now, the storm drain, and the completed project is in red, uh, the, the big basin, regional basin along uh, South Mountain Avenue and 27th Avenue. And in the meantime, there is three little local basins along um, 23rd Avenue, north of uh, Only Avenue. Our project is in, is, is in yellow, uh, is con uh, consists of the two basin along Dobbins Road and storm drain uh, to outfall to that South Mountain Avenue regional basin. Uh, <clears throat> next slide, please. Before we go to the uh, cover this slide, the district hired double engineering consultant firm to design this project. It is my pleasure to introduce the designer team manager, Bob Heline, Han Hanline, who will present all the technical elements of the project. Thank you for your time. And for if there is any questions, we will do our best to answer them all at the end of this presentation. Bob? Thank you, Nizar. Thank you, Lori, for uh, that uh, excellent introduction. Um, I'm going to describe the elements of this current project. Um, and as Nizar has mentioned, I'm happy to take questions uh, near the end. Um, as Nizar has indicated, this project includes a combination of uh, two regional um, detention basins to temporarily store water uh, near the fire station and the Humane Society along Dobbins Road as well as a large storm drain within the public rights of way of Dobbins Road, 19th Avenue and South Mountain Avenue. Um, as a note, no infrastructure is uh, intended to be designed on private property with the notable exception of a, uh, a couple small portions of property adjacent to the right of way uh, near the Humane Society, but everything else is intended to be constructed within the public right of way. So for the storm drain, uh, as we mentioned here in yellow, this consists of um, pipes ranging from 66 to 78 inches. So it's quite large. As, I, as uh, Nazar has mentioned, this is a regional flood control project. So we're dealing with large amounts of water. So it's large infrastructure uh, to match that. That pipe crosses underneath the SRP Western Canal, which you can see in this aerial right here. So we have to cross underneath that canal to get access to the other side. Oops, excuse me. Uh, and it does discharge or outfall into that existing South Mountain Avenue regional basin, which is up here in the northwest corner. That basin has been intentionally sized to accept 
flood water from the 19th and Dobbins project and from the parallel uh, 27th and Olney project. Uh, as I mentioned, there are two detention basins that are intended to be constructed on city owned property on the north side of Dobbins Road, uh, across from the Humane Society and the new Dobbins Heights um, subdivision that is currently being built. Uh, for reference, this small square here is Fire Station 57. So these, uh, these two uh, yellow rectangles represent those two detention basins. Here's another schematic of uh, of what we're talking about. As I mentioned, the two basins are on City of Phoenix properties that are currently being uh, farmed, uh, but may be developed in the future. Um, and uh, the existing basin is here. But this gives you just a little bit more of a bird's eye view of, uh, of the project. So some project impacts, uh, we're talking about um, the benefits uh, here, and it's really, as we mentioned, the project is intended to, to reduce flooding. It is not a, uh, a roadway beautification project or a roadway widening project. It is strictly intended to reduce flooding in the area. Um, so this project will uh, um, achieve that goal of reducing flooding to existing homes and, and businesses and structures, which is our primary goal. Uh, and significantly reduce uh, the risk of flooding to the overall community, including currently undeveloped property, which will then uh, benefit from um, increased property values. Uh, and as I mentioned, the storm drain itself uh, is intended to be built within the existing rights of way of 19th Avenue Dobbins Road and uh, South Mountain Avenue. Uh, I wanted to to show this, this um, is a comparison of the current existing conditions to our modeling of the of the area with the project in place. Um, we use a, mathemat a mathematical um, computer modeling program called Flow2D, and it's very powerful. It allows us to, to not only analyze current conditions, but predict future conditions as well. The image in the upper left hand corner shows the project area and I'm going to highlight a couple. So you can see Dobbins Road here, 19th Avenue here and in, excuse me, and South Mountain Avenue up here. Here is the region of South Mountain Basin that we're tying into. Uh, this is the current SRP Canal. This is the Humane Society and Fire Station 57. Under the current conditions and this this mimics the 2014 flooding uh pretty closely uh, there's a lot of flow coming off off uh, south mountain as anybody in the area would uh, know and understand uh, a large amount of flow comes north up 15th avenue adjacent to the humane society there's a large rock line channel here it then uh, flows over dobbins road onto the city of phoenix parcels adjacent to the fire station and ponds adjacent to the SRP canal, which is elevated. Once that ponding has reached a certain level, it, it then overflows into Dobbins Road again. And you can see in the blues, uh, the greens and the yellows, the what we call the inundation, uh, the flooding that occurs from all of, the, of that as it works its way northwest in its historic uh, drainage patterns. So significant flooding, not only on city of Phoenix properties, but private properties downstream of uh, of there uh, in undeveloped um, uh, parcels and developed parcels. So as I mentioned, the, the model allows us to actually um, add in the with project conditions. So we've we've added in the two basins that I mentioned here. These are in red, uh, and the new storm drain uh, in uh, in the project corridor as well. And you can see that there's quite a, an improvement in the, the regional flooding. Uh, there's still water coming down 15th Avenue, which is the way it was intended. But instead of overtopping the road and flooding the city of Phoenix parcels adjacent to the SRP Canal, it is now contained within these two detention basins. Those two detention basins then allow the water to flow into the storm drain uh, and when are working their way over to the South Mountain um, Regional Basin. But you can see if you compare the two in images, uh, a marked improvement 
uh, on City of Phoenix property, plus uh, a, a significant improvement in the private properties downstream of that. Um, that no, not only helps protect uh, uh, against threats to life and property, but it also increases property values in the area as well. Some of the constraints or some of the hurdles uh, that, that we are uh, currently um, addressing to uh, be able to construct this project. Uh, we know that, that a project of this magnitude, when we're talking about large pipes within the road rights of way, uh, is going to disrupt traffic temporarily during construction. And we are planning for those uh, disruptions to make sure that we allow for access to businesses and homes um, during construction. So, um, you know, nobody should lose access to their, their business or their home, um, but there will be some interruptions um, in, in normal traffic. Um, as I mentioned, we have to cross beneath, beneath that SRP Western Canal at Dobbins Road, which is um, a, a um, complicated, costly, uh, crossing um, because we cannot open cut uh, that canal. We cannot just uh, open a big trench and put our pipe through. We have to actually go underneath it. Um, some portions of the corridor, specifically and in, 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 um, most prominently along uh, South Mountain Avenue in kind of the, the eastern portion of the alignment, have very narrow pavements, almost just one lane. And as I mentioned, we have to uh, allow for or account for um, the passage of traffic during construction. So um, that is another one of the constraints that we are currently dealing with. And as I mentioned, this is a flood control project. Uh, we are not enhancing the roadways, which we're not adding width, we're not adding curb and gutter, landscaping, um, nothing like that. Uh, I like to call it, we fix what we break. Um, so in the end, uh, when the project is built and in the ground, um, you will see it put back to its existing condition, but really no enhancements beyond that. With one notable exception of along Dobbins Road adjacent to those two regional basins, we have to comply with City of Phoenix requirements for uh, landscaping um, along those two, two sections. So um, I'm sure uh, most of you are concerned uh, with timing, with uh, schedule. Uh, our current um, uh, schedule calls for the design to be complete first week of June. The, the county and the city will then um, begin to uh, bid the project for construction. Um, we're estimating August through November. You know, it, it takes a little while to get the project out for bid then, and then select a contractor and then actually get the contractor under contract. So we're um, estimating that construction would um, begin late fall, early winter, probably around the first of the year or maybe December at the earliest and be complete uh, about a year and a half, a year and a half later. Um, there is one um, uh, one note that I did want to bring up is the timing of the construction of this project was intentionally chosen uh, so that it would not overlap with the timing of the 27th and only project, which Nazar is also leading, so that we don't have two large projects going on in, in, a, in a short area to, uh, to impact, the, uh, impact the public. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, there was one or, or two areas in the project alignment uh, along or adjacent to the uh, the large detention basins that are going to be built on Dobbin, north side of Dobbins Road across from the Humane Society. We have two basins uh, because we need the the amount of uh, volume to store the large amount of stormwater that comes off South Mountain. Um, but um, city requirements include the need for whatever goes in there to be properly landscaped and, and screened as if it was a business being developed along along the road uh, alignment. Um, so the basins uh, will include landscaping primarily adjacent to the roadway. They will be fully enclosed um, the so that the public will not have access to those because 
they are going to be fairly deep and fairly large, and we want to make sure that we're accounting for public safety. Um, the fencing is being chosen such that the fence along Dobbins Road that the public is going to primarily see is an upgrade from a standard chain link fence. Um, and we are working through those details now, but it, uh, initial indications are a an aluminum uh, uh, type fence that has been used very successfully with other projects here in the valley. The city has also master planned a multi-use trail along the north side of Dobbins Road adjacent to these two buildings and the fire station. Uh, that multi-use trail is, um, you know, a, a, a future improvement, but this project accounts for that by making sure that we stay out of that multi-use trail area on the north side of Dobbins Road and provide some basic amenities to continue that trail along the frontage of this project. There is already a portion of that built in front of Fire Station 57. We are just continuing that on each side of it so that at some point in the future, uh, the city can connect onto those two ends and continue that, that trail system. So here's a graphic that shows that, uh, as again, we have the two basins, um, water, storm water coming up 15th Avenue in this rock line channel next to the Humane Society will uh, enter this basin through a large box culvert that's going to be built under Dobbins Road. This one then will travel west um, and become attenuated or uh, the, it temporarily slow the water down. It is also then connected via a large pipe into the west basin, which does the exact same thing. And then that will uh, flow out of that basin and into the, the, the storm drain that we've been talking about. As I mentioned, here, that we, we show a 12 foot multi-use trail uh, along the north side of Dobbins Road, in between Dobbins Road and the proposed basins. And the portion of the fencing enclosure along Dobbins Road will be ornamental fencing and not chain link. Chain link fencing will be used on the sides of the basins and a masonry block wall will be used along the, the backs on the, north, on the north side to account for possible future development of the city of Phoenix property uh, at some point in the future. Uh, again, just a, a, a uh, enlarged view of one of those basins with uh, the um, ornamental fencing uh, room for the trail. And the trail will not be um, a hard surface. It will not be concrete or asphalt. It's going to be a, a uh, 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 decomposed granite compressed or, or, or uh, uh, consolidated de decomposed granite trail. Um, but we will also include landscaping and the ability for us to include what we would call green infrastructure. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we are uh, accounting for stormwater quality, the ability for us to perhaps improve groundwater conditions in the area by, by infiltrating. And you'll see these little, these long little features here, and that's really intended to take water that is just falling on Dobbins Road. So it's just small areas. And for small storm events, allow these linear features to capture that water and allow it to infiltrate into the ground. Large storm events would, would bypass these and, and go directly into the basin. So these are examples of the type of landscaping, uh, the, the plants and, and shrubbery and uh, slope um, linings that, that we are proposing. Um, and these meet City of Phoenix standards, and they also are intended to um, try to use uh, native uh, plant species as much as possible uh, to reduce the amount of uh, irrigation uh, that is needed to, to, to keep those species viable. Again, examples of the walls and the fencing. This is an example of that ornamental fence that would be along Dobbins Road, uh, and then the CMU block wall, which would be on the back side or the north side of those two basins. This is not exactly, um, there, there are, there's a couple small details um, that we are um, including in, in the uh, design that is a little bit different than this, but by and large, it's, 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 uh, uh, it's what is being proposed. 
And then there's an example of a multi-use trail, as I mentioned. This is going, as I mentioned, this is not going to be concrete. It'll be uh, decomposed granite, compacted decomposed granite. So next steps, uh, design, as I mentioned, to be completed um, first week of June of this year. Um, nearly, um, or almost immediately after that, uh, the city and the county will begin the bidding process for construction. Uh, and then construction is estimated to start late this year and last about a year and a half. Laurie, I'll turn it over to you. All right, thanks, Bob. Um, just want to wrap this up, give you a little bit of a, a, a summary of what we talked about in case you joined late and had some questions on something we covered that you, you missed. We did talk about the impetus for this project. Uh, we talked about the background, what else is going on in the neighborhood from a storm drainage standpoint. And then we talked about the elements, both underground and above ground and um, the construction schedule. And so I uh, just want to open it up to anybody that has questions. You can either raise your hand or type a message in the chat box. Uh, we have uh, one, uh, Jimmy Karen. Hi, uh, Jimmy Karen I'm here. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Bob. Um, thanks for, for that information. Um, I'm actually a resident of a uh, new resident here, the, the Dobbins Heights community, which is oh, nice. directly adjacent to the firehouse, mm -hmm. uh, which, is, which is why I, I joined this meeting here. Um, I know that you mentioned I'm also a future urban planner, so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Our first city meeting, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I know that you mentioned that there's not going to be any restoration or beautification of the, you know, the road, which is you know, one way each way, east and west. But to my understanding, you guys are going to be drilling, right? And putting the pipes underneath. Um, it looks like there's going to be a east and west pipe right, you know, on either side of the fire station, right smack in the middle of the road there. So is that, I'm assuming that, and then obviously the 15th Avenue channel, you're going to be digging underneath that. If, if anything messes up there, I'm assuming you guys are going to be providing new pavement there. Is that my understanding or? Yeah, as I like to say, it, it's a it's a fix what we break uh, approach. Um, any place where we are removing pavement to install this pipe or to install that box culvert or whatever, we will be replacing those in kind. Um, so if if there's you know a certain pavement section that's asphalt and, and and that sort of thing, that's what we will put back. If we are disturbing landscaping, as in in the case of the Humane Society, that corner at 15th and Dobbins. Um, uh, we will be replacing that in kind as well. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, uh, Follow-up question uh, or secondary question is, um, I, I know there's going to be the two basins on either side of the firehouse. Are there going to be, uh, like behind that, it is the City of Phoenix property. Um, it uh, looks like it's labeled here, Future Phoenix Water Services Campus. Um, are there going to be any, um, like employees behind, are there going to be like businesses behind that? Or is that not uh, part of uh, what I'm asking? The reason why I'm asking is uh, if it's going to be driving new traffic with this, you know, with the, um, with this new um, basin. Um, and, the, and the reason why I ask that is because right now, you know, the East and West Dobbins Road right there on 19th Ave, between 19th and 7th Avenue um, gets pretty backed up during rush hour traffic time because it is, you know, four way stop there on 19th Avenue in yeah, Dobbins. Yeah. So um, just kind of want to see if there's any traffic study done or like I know there's going to be construction in the future, but um, yeah. how are you going to manage that? So I, I'll, I'll let you know what I know, and then uh, I'll allow uh, Eric Froberg to add in if he, so, if he chooses. Uh, so, but the we call it the Future Phoenix Water Services Campus because that parcel, those two parcels actually are owned by City Phoenix Water Services Department. And it is master plan to be a, uh, a, um, a potable water treatment plant site. Um, the, the timing of that is not known. I will tell you it's not imminent, um, but we are accounting for, for that uh, in the future um, in, in how we're doing those basins and so forth. 
um, if the, the impact of the development of that campus were such that the traffic uh, study for that campus shows something needs to be done with the roadway capacity, I would defer to, to the, you know, to that project. Thank you for that information. You're very welcome. Okay, we're still taking questions, but I'm going to ask Bob to flip to the next slide. Okay. And I have a good right. reason. Okay, uh, we wanted to show you the project webpage, and it's it's a long uh, it's a long URL. So we we developed a somewhat shorter one so that you can jump directly to the project page. This is on the Flood Control District of Maricopa County's website. So you'll have access to um, this presentation as well as previous presentations that have been made if you um, haven't uh, been following the project through its inception. But um, we also have uh, ways for you to comment additionally. We actually have a, um, we'd like to have comments by February 21st uh, of this month. And so if you have any questions or comments, um, Nabar, Nazar Nabadi's uh, email address is on the screen. But if you jump to that uh, page, uh, it also has his email and phone number. So uh, with that, we'll just pause a little bit and see if there are any other questions. Let me add to that, uh, Laurie. Thank you. We would like to get your feedback. Uh, that's why we're providing the, the link to get your feedback. And please share your thoughts and concerns that you may have uh, by using the link was provided here. Or if you go to our website, Flood Control District of Maricopa County uh, website, and just click on the projects, then click on 19th Avenue and Dobbins project. You will get there right away. Definitely all of feedback will be looked at it in depth and evaluated. And uh, if further discussions needed, we will contact that individual to the, to, uh, to give them the, our, our resolution on his uh, uh, thoughts or concerns that may have. Yeah, we, we do we do uh, document all comments and, and questions and um, in, include those in design discussions as we move forward. So Eric, it looks like you didn't pay the, the power bill. <laughs> yeah, apparently the lights shut off here at City Hall at 630. So. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And um, another uh, aspect, if you know anybody in the area that, that doesn't know about the project or is interested in it, um, please share this information because we certainly would like to hear any and all comments from the area. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all. I do appreciate your, your attendance.